pop up through connector on a set move into the window. Putting tons of pressure up, but Rob stays alive inside of the palace. And a clip. This Hades takes out Rain and CT spawn. This opens things up. They'll Ooh, overtake this space and Dihal wins over Rops. Yeah. They don't plan. Rops is big, but oh, Kerrigan strikes, and the CTs follow suit. They've kind of fumbled this bomb, and oh. Brogy, yeah, he's not going to give you a damn chance to breathe. Diha looking for the clutch in the 1v2. These CTs are very much in the open, and he shakes off. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what Maniac's talking about. He's the guy. Stands tall. Big pressure situation, big pressure game, big delivery on the P250. Yeah, what a pop off. After Brokey put a laser pointer on the end of this USP and just started to execute Brokey's got damage forward. In. Yeah, but single tag. That twist tries to be very patient with that Deagle on the last try. Kerrigan oh. will fall off and get damaged. Oh my god, Still it's actually alive. rotating, yeah. Picks up the scout, misses that one chance, lands it on Hades. Snappy gets Rain. cut off by Rain, and the individuals of FaZe are looking good enough, but it's the old boys, Ooh. as Kerrigan will be toppled. Rain's coming out from window, and Sphinx keeps it clean. Oh, I forgot Sphinx was alive. Ah, yeah, whenever yeah. Sphinx is alive, then there's a huge chance that they'll win. What a, dude, this guy's got a land buff. Dude, Ace is just more comfortable. He'd just be owning on land. Uh, Sphinx is... A very special rifler. He has shown such. The grenades from Phase. Oh, they don't molly triple. It. Only a second. Space given to Brokey. Spitz comes out. Immediate kill into Rain. Rops one and done. And that is Ents exiting ramp. But Twists reclaims a little territory versus Diha. Throws an AK-47 into the window for Kerrigan. But they're gonna go ahead and. Are well, they leaving? No, they're, they're between two mines. Yeah, I don't know. Twist came back. Maybe he found a big bit of utility. And there's one frag here for Finn Kerrigan looking for a second. Last player on the ramp. Bomb is planted on the inside of default. It's solid for a ramp, but he'll have to come out a little bit. Kerrigan, does he have it? Oh, no. tries the pre fire. I think that was his best move, but ultimately Hades wins. And the A exec was pretty compelling. A little bit of a wall bang. Easy does it. Poor Kerrigan. Twists. The next to be toppled. Rops has got an answer. Right, we're looking for the fireworks. We're looking for the ferocity from FaZe, but they've been kind of muzzled with lesser weapons. All these rounds barring the last. So, quietly, Ents have gone ahead and grabbed a fifth round. Did you put Ents through to the next stage? Uh, I didn't. I mean, they were on my sh short list, of course. There were just so many good teams. I think the one that I put in that maybe most people switched out for was uh, Furia. Okay. So I, I have Furia making playoffs, but them and Ents, and for me, again, Ents comes down to basically their opper. The only real consideration versus other teams, and I mean, H Hades is not a bad opper or anything like that, but in terms of the level of eliteness that a lot that of the other offers yeah. are at this event, like, even if we look at FaZe right now, by the end of this year, they're probably going to have but Brokey jumping up and spotted. He's scoped in. Just dies to the walkout. Twist is there for the quick recovery. Kerrigan comes in from the corner. There's still a chance here despite the man advantage being taken by Entz. And Twists, well, he's still got Kerrigan taking players away from him. All good. Big play from Kerrigan. Two on the M4, one off the USP. But when Brokey got caught sleeping on the van, that looked sketchy for a second. There were so many players alive in the site that you could almost... Pod's gonna get caught off guard. There's nothing right behind it, which might make it feel like a fake actually. But in reality, the bomb is the next player coming up the ramp. They're holding on to mid control and waiting for Twist to push off of Cat. They finally find it, but they don't punish him. Kerrigan kills Snappy. That's the B lurk dealt with. Hades will be able to catch Rain pushing up. And Spinx still sitting inside mid. His team now needs him. Call to action onto A. And Twists. Oh, he could have a 1v1 towards middle while Bomb is being planted. Oh, Twists will get the better of the connector player. Madden deep inside of Jungle oh. next to die. And this is looking like the back-to-back -back 3v3s for FaZe. Sure oh. enough, every piece of their puzzle comes together, makes the bigger picture, and FaZe continue to cut back this lead. Man, so many close situations. I mean, even the fact that Twist gets lit up inside of Cat and then wins a double-dink duel into connector versus, versus Sphinx. That's a duel that Sphinx 
now him and Twist, both mid 30s, wow. jump over towards Ticket, suddenly makes things sketchy, because Kerrigan is going to be in a crossfire. Spinks was watching Palace, was past tense. Kerrigan gets that other one, and Hades in the open oh, falls. Geez. The 3v3 goes the way of FaZe. They win their second round. Fortunate bit of timing there for Robs, actually. Spinks lined it up. After that, of course, he was in a tradable spot. But, uh, wow, I can't believe Diha jumped out the CT It's just going to be Palace in the back of their minds. Middle seems clear, but this deep corner spot from Twist almost was the end of Madden. Brokey sees a player jump ticket, nice <laughs> flick into Snappy's head, pops him like a melon, turns it over, Jesus. kills Diha, slips into connector smoke, comes back at it from stairs. Brokey oh. is everywhere. And while he does that, Twists ends this. How does he even end up in that spot on the inside of that jungle smoke? I don't even know. Dude, he's a theory. I made the argument that his individual level is actually important for this team. Oh, but he gets he gets hit by Dia. Oh, oh well, his headshots. Diha's hitting. Wow, that second one as he slides through, twists, goes for a controlled burst and finds himself three kills. This round is Diha's. Damn. This round. Belongs to Ents. Yeah, that was monster mode from Diha. He kicked it into the sixth gear for that. Ran over the second major in a row. It's too much up in the air. And if Ents keep playing like this, we'll see them make a deep run as well. Ooh. Twists and Robs and Rain. Not going to let off the pedal here towards middle. Rob's very nice first one as he comes around that smoke. Twist was serving up a distraction. We had those T's scrambled for a second because Twists was spamming damage into them. Rops will be caught. Kerrigan. Ooh, guys, dude, we've already wow. seen Spinks deliver from those windows, yeah. and I thought maybe, just maybe he'd do it again. He doesn't need much health to grab those frags. Window spot comes in, yeah. He could still clutch this. Brokey immediately uh, runs into the site. Jumps onto the dumpster. Twists on the window is where this one ends. Twists slow rotation, they play it patient, and Madden gives them that last frag, so it is at least. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went under Bal kind of alone, actually. Very few support grenades here. They might not be able to afford the bomb to go down. With that second and third and fourth Molotov, they burn Rain out of position. Brokey will come through the smoke, finally, as the fire kept him at bay. Left rain on his own. Diha, oh, the late lurk should catch Twists, but what if Twists gets into the mix before that flank arrives? Madden will be cleared off site. Robs has the kill, and sure enough, Diha will get it. So Robs in the one versus three, looking for the 4K to give phase six. Snappy taps at him, Sphinx gets damaged, but the wall bang goes both ways mm. and ends with an Excellent first half. I don't know where the uh, nades went on that one for FaZe coming off the last round win. They were completely out by the time the exec came in. How? Oh. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Uh, low HP. Yeah. That much we know. Low HP for what's left of Ents and not looking like any real attempt at an exit. Yeah, Brookie's like in a scary spot, but he actually doesn't have to move. And uh, the CTs? Well, can they get both of them? Oh, Ooh. they can't. Yeah. Wow. What a shot. You take it. That's Doesn't come with enough time for the defuse, but you take what you can get. That's damage. Here to stop it. Except matted over in CT spawn. Oh, yes. Wow. Hades. He keeps killing the guy in the back. Bo. That one was clean. Racking up the easy frags. That ain't going to give a little space here to Rops. Able to exit at the very least, but poor Twists finds himself alone. Tech 9, not meant for this one. Only that one kill from Twists. Barring that, it is Entz's round. Easy for Entz, they say. Nice for it. Um, there's somebody in window, but where are they tucked? Okay. Straight under. Diha gives good cover. Rain the first casualty. Kerrigan connects. They know another one's jungle. One spotted CT. And Sphinx still low. alive. Oh, Robs through smoke. But will they forget about Sphinx? That's the big one. And you can't forget about Sphinx. He's looking up. Gets cleared. Robs comes in with the multi-kill. Head on a swivel. Okay. As phase surround that A site. And squeeze. That became 4v5. But positionally, they had one in CT to support from the CT side. Rain versus Madden up close. Oh, there's Good a duel. Trade. Oh, Good I don't trade, know if I'd rather be phased still. Yeah, it's Hades. Rob's dead. 
Hades burned off of Ticket, comes back, misses his shot, but honestly, he could be dead by now if Rain wasn't blinded. And then they throw Brokey into Firebox. Another flash meant to set up Rain, but the AWP comes in with at least that one. And nobody else to peek from Ticket for the CT side. A very critical two versus two. You've got Twists and Brokey, star-studded players for FaZe. Against Snappy and Sphinx, the challenger, but Twists unable to get his kill. And so Brokey now falls down into the clutch, and he's drawn between two directions. Oh. Sphinx, cookie cutter clean, and 14. Yeah, they're 14 now. They're standing. They're near the top of the mountain. They're near in the pinnacle. They have to be feeling great. Floating in the connector. Brokey's just waiting for the peak to come over. Deho will be turned away, burned back. Oh, but even that dink's not enough. Oh, Jesus. Just and now this one's done, dude. Yeah. Wrap it up. Ents, they strike first blood. A little bit of sweet revenge. Just a delicate taste. Mm, it's not a best of five finals, but it's an opening message that the challengers have come to play. Yeah, they really have. Um, they can.